Good evening, fellows. Welcome back again into the meeting room. I hope you all doing well, enjoying your weekend. So let's look at the bears which are going to be ready for next week. The first one, you fellas know that we have, you know, we were leaking on this bear in the last week, and this bear is 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 doing what we were anticipating last week. Yeah. So I, uh, I think in next week this bear gonna be be crucial, gonna be. Amazing for for the entry based on the continuation. Yeah, so you fellas can see that we are having trend continuation pattern formation over there. Breakout, clear breakout, and trend continuation pattern formation. Now we are looking for this trade. Yeah, some of you fellas are already managed to get into this trade somewhere here, and uh, some of you managed to sell based on the impulse. Right, so those who are not into this trade, watch for this breakout or entry before the breakout. Alright, so I hope we're gonna get a good movement into this pair in the coming week. Yeah, so this wave. We'll see the price once we're gonna see the bottom at this area. We'll see the price either going to, to, to continue for further downside or going to reverse for upside. So far we can see we are having reversal formation. Yeah. So highly likely price gonna reverse from the bottom to the upside. We will see for the buy once we're gonna hit this bottom, yeah, for this trade. All right, so we are having this formation. All right, so this trade we are looking for, and once price is gonna hit the bottom, we're gonna look for this trade. All right, so <clears throat> you fellas can see that it is trend continuation pattern formation. Okay, so keep eye on this pair for the next week. I hope we're gonna get the breakout. It's a nice breakout. Yeah, it's a nice breakout, quite similar like this one. If you fellows remember that, yeah, when price was forming this continuation pattern, we were looking for this trade. All right, now we are looking for this trade. Euro yen, we were anticipating breakout. We got the breakout. We can see that price is struggling at this top. Here is the bigger image. All right, so price is struggling at this top. We're going to see what we're going to have next week either we are going to get back or going to break out this this corrective area or this trend <clears throat> you know co corrective formation for the upside all right so what we need to look for we need to look for a lower time frame if you fellows were tracking this pair you know what we were looking for we were looking for a breakout breakout of this corrective wave this corrective wave yeah we got the breakout we're gonna see the price section at this area again quite similar like the previous one all right so if price gonna break out we're gonna hold for this trade for the further for further downside all right and uh, currently we are at the top we are looking for the top if price start to, to to continue aggressively to the downside of course we're gonna see other formations at this area for the outside yeah quite similar like 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 this all right, so quite similar like that formation under that trend line. Okay, so we got the breakout. You can see, but breakout is not a strong breakout, like impulsive, but looks like someone is, 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 is getting into the market at this area. All right, so those who are not into this trade from this breakout, watch for this continuation. All right, once that continuation formation is going to complete over there, look for a sell over there, this trade setup. All right. And we're gonna look for further downside. So far, we can see prices getting, you know, bears are getting strong at this top. Before that, we haven't got this <clears throat> much price action. So far, we are getting price action, good price action. Keep eye on this pair for next week. All right. So, some of you fellows already into this trade on breakout. Good luck. Europe, uh, pound yen, pound yen is just moving extremely well. So it looks like we are having some change in formation at this area, at this place. So we're going to pay attention once price is going to hit this area. All right. So we were tracking this wave. Before that, we were tracking that wave. After that, we were tracking this wave. All right. So ideally, this wave should complete up this area. But the wave price is, is going at this area looks like it can reverse from this 
lower trend line to 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 the up to the upside and can can change change the formation yeah formation of this descending channel but we'll see that what we are having at this bottom currently we are bearish on this pair it is in daily sideways formation this daily sideways formation yeah so as long as price is going to stay within this daily sideways we are bearish quite similar like that yeah so we're going to stay bearish on this pair all right so let me open that chart <clears throat> yeah so we were tracking that wave this wave so far price is doing good job we were anticipating some some cell setup here at this area we got the cell setup at this area we got the cell setup at that, that area we got the cell setup here 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 okay now we're gonna pay attention let me show you we're gonna pay attention here at this area okay so the this area this place what was the, the the last trade setup? The last trade setup was this, yeah? We were watching breakout under that trend line. Okay, so some of you fellows managed to sell. Good job. Okay, so breakout was there. Now we're going to look for change in pattern formation. All right. Change in pattern formation means that if price no going to continue and which is highly possible that price no going to continue from that bottom, then price going to rise back to that trend line again all right so then we're going to see this formation at this area what price going to do at that area either going to, to, to continue or going to reverse back okay so so far we are in bearish trend you fellas can see that we are in bearish trend this is the bearish trend yeah so price is going to continue after that flag all right so any question on this pair fellows any question on this this pair because we were talking about this pair in the last week a lot so if anyone have question on this pair just let me know no simply we can yeah so you can see this formation fellows this formation this formation yeah this formation is telling us the strength of this this trend all right this is look like falling wedge all right so falling wedge so this trend still in force okay this wave this impulse this trend still in force so we have to pay attention at that area what we're gonna have at this area okay if price gonna stop we're gonna look for change in formation Change in formation quite similar like New Zealand dollar and Australian dollar. I think you all fellows remember that formation. I don't need to look for look at that pair. I have explained that that, that formation in, in in last meeting. Yeah. Okay. So far, nothing to worry about this pair. It is bearish. Okay, but we're gonna pay attention at this area. If price no gonna continue. We're going to see the, the change in formation, all right, this formation. Then we're going to look for this trade at this area. If price we're going to hold that area, we're going to look for another sell at this area. We're going to take off at this area, we're going to look for sell. Those who sold at this area, take off, look for sell at this area. And chart them upside is possible. But we'll see that how this pair is going to dwell in next week, all right. So far, it is bearish, doing well. Good luck to you fellows, those who are holding their shot of this pair. Australian dollar, yeah, some change in it's some change, you know, changing formation is coming over there on this pair. We were looking for this trade, yeah. We were looking for this trade. We can see that the way price has reversed from this area, showing us that it is going to, to form a bigger sideways correction at this area within these ranges. Okay, bigger sideways correction. So this single candle is not showing that we are going to get back to the top again. All right. So we have to give more time to this pair. How this pair is going to do that. So far, this pair is still bearish. Yeah, nothing has changed. You can see that it is corrective. And we were looking for sell here within these ranges here. 
at breakout. We were looking for breakout. Breakout came, but price reversed back aggressively back to, 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 to that area. All right. So this area, this whole area is is a strong area for the for the bears. Yeah. So bears can get into this area again. It is not easy for the price to 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 continue to to break out that area. All right. So simply you can see you can see that this trend line gonna be big hurdle for the bull for the bulls. Okay, this trend line. So we're gonna pay attention how price gonna dwell in these areas in these ranges. All right. So far we are bearish of this pair. Nothing has changed. Yeah. So we're gonna 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 remain bearish. So those who are holding their shot, you can hold hold your shot. And those who are on break even. And stop load and break even. Pay attention at that area, okay, for another entry. So we're gonna see price action at this area. So big sideways. We are having big sideways movement at this area, okay. So we'll see that how this pair gonna dwell for for the next week. USD cat. We are having big flag on USD cat. Nice flag. All right. So this pair is forming a nice flag. It seems to me that we're gonna see breakout, okay? Breakout on this pair. If you fellows remember that we were waiting on this pair to to, to to form a correction, and then we're gonna decide for another entries. All right, so that was the last update on this chart. This, okay? We were watching price section at that, that area. Price broke it out. But forming a bigger daily trend continuation pattern formation here at this area. All right, so we are still in this trend. Okay, so what we were watching at this area, we were watching strong impulse, which we we, we haven't seen at this area. Okay, which we haven't seen at this area. What we have seen here, we have seen this trend continuation pattern formation. All right, so that trend continuation pattern pattern formation is quite similar like this. It's quite similar like this although these are flat but this is zigzag or, or, or flag yeah flag trend continuation pattern formation we need to give a little bit more time to this pair so that that daily trend continuation pattern gonna complete itself this trend continuation pattern yeah so we we are still having room up to this trend line or even further downside downside up to that area Okay, so this is how this pair is developing. We still have room up to this trend line. Okay, so we're gonna go for that trade for next week. You fellas can see that it is corrective, quite similar like USD yen. Yeah, so we have seen correction on USD yen. So those fellas who were getting confused on USD yen and were thinking that we're gonna have uh, some reversal formation to the upside. You, you you need to think about this all right this this formation this is highly correct this is highly corrective trend continuation pattern formation where is the usdn here we got the usdn all right so i have shown this formation this formation okay this formation in last meeting if you fellows remember that yeah this is corrective formation. This corrective formation wasn't saying that we are going to continue into that direction. Okay, so price was forming trend continuation formation. We were anticipating an, uh, an up move up to that, that area, up to, up to that area, and then, you know, uh, broken down to the downside. But price broken down early. I'll talk about this pair later on. But the formation we are having on this pair is quite similar like that. Yeah, on daily time frame, you, you fellas can see that. Okay, this is trend continuation formation, corrective trend continuation formation, quite similar like that to the downside. We're going to look for this trade on this pair. Let's look at the, the lower time frame. How we're going to look for trade setup on this pair. You fellas can see that this is corrective trend continuation flag, the continuation pattern formation flag. All right, so where we're going to sell, fellows? Where are we going to look for sell? Any idea on this pair? Where are we going to look for sell? 
exactly that is the place where we are gonna pay attention exactly that is the place perfect okay why are we gonna pay attention at that area for sure so that we can manage our risk okay we're not gonna look for breakout i mean we're not gonna look for this trade somewhere here breakout yeah we we're not gonna look for breakout at that area why if we're gonna look for breakout at that area our risk is gonna be very much high like that okay so safe stop loss is gonna be just outside that trend line okay this is not a good good trade setup so where are we gonna pay attention we're gonna pay attention at that top at that 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 top all right so we're gonna give more more time to this this pattern so that this, this pattern can complete itself somewhere here and then we're gonna look for trade setup something like that all right in case <clears throat> price in case price struggle at that area do not break down this trend line we can take off at the break even all right we can take off at the break even if price is not going to continue so we're going to look for another other entry at that area so quite similar like the new zealand dollar okay so we're going to do same thing the, the 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 thing we have done on the New Zealand dollar okay so this is how you need to look for this pair we are forming another trend continuation pattern formation this get pattern this trend continuation pattern formation is quite similar like this this previous one good luck to you fellows on this pair pound dollar on pound dollar we are having bigger correction under the trend line yeah if you fellows remember that we were looking for bigger correction under this trend line okay this trend line under that trend so we are having that that formation let me yeah this this formation all right this is trend continuation formation so where you need to pay attention you need to pay attention at this area let me remove that trend line remove these lines all right so this trend continuation pattern is just developing yeah so struggling here at this area price is struggling at this area so still aggressive to the upside so those who are already into this trade, you have to be careful for this up, upside breakout. Okay, because impulse continuation, it can break up for, for, for another up wave like that. Okay, so those who are not into this trade, pay attention at this area. If, if you're going to see that breakout and price is going to test that trend line, look for short at that area. Okay, and for further continuation of this, this pattern. We'll see that how this pair is gonna develop. Okay, we are having impulse. You all fellas can see that. Impulse. We are forming this trend continuation pattern. Look like triangle for upside. This is the place where you fellas need to, to pay attention, those who are not into this trade or even at this area at the, the previous talk. Okay, so looks like cat gonna get strong and pound gonna get worse yeah i mean dollar looks like dollar gonna get strong in the next couple of weeks let's see how things gonna 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 come out on this chart pound new zealand dollar is quite similar like that yeah so the, the bigger trend continuation pattern is developing although it is not ready to to put short on this pair let me show you the previous one yeah, so we were looking for this continuation formation under that trend line. So uh, almost all pound pairs are are forming bigger trend continuation pattern formation under the, the, the previous trend. All right, so we're gonna pay attention at this area, fellows. That area, all right, for this trend continuation pattern for this trade. We'll see that how price is going to dwell at uh, uh, this area. All right. So no trade on breakout. Some traders were, were looking to, to sell the breakout. I think they got stopped out on this trade. Yeah. So they were looking this kind of breakout. 
by putting stop loss just behind or somewhere there. In case the price has reversed, you can see over there looking for breakers. Price has reversed. Why? There was wasn't a breakout setup because price has already moved a lot and it needs a bigger correction, bigger trend continuation formation. So smaller trend continuation pattern formation, they're gonna work over there. Okay, so bigger trend continuation pattern formation gonna work over there. Then you you need to look for breakout setup. Okay, or or entry before the breakout. So gonna wanna wanna pay attention on this pair, especially at this area, at the previous high at this area. How Things gonna unfold on this pair. New Zealand dollar, pay attention at that top. Let me show you the, the, the bigger image. Soon we're gonna see this this trade. Yeah, if we we're not gonna see breakdown from this area, then at least we're gonna see breakdown from this area. Yeah, so big trade is coming over on this pair. Last time we were looking for a short term trade from this area, we never got that trade. But one thing is confirmed, and that is we are having trend reversal pattern formation at that area. All right. Trend reversal pattern formation at that area. So soon we're gonna see see breakdown of this trend reversal channel. Okay, quite similar like that. All right, we are having that reversal channel formation at that area. So let me show you lower time frame where you fellas need to pay attention. Soon this they're gonna turn down. Okay, pay attention at that area. So it is strong bullish in the upside. Be careful at that area. Okay, pay attention at that area. If I start to fall, look for this trade first. Okay, this is the first trade. And if price keep falling, we're gonna hold that trade for further downside. Okay, and if price no gonna break down. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take off at that area, we're gonna look for a short term upside and again sell from that top. Alright, let me show you. Okay. This is the short term trade we were looking for when price was at that top and one once came at that area, we were looking for breakout. Either price is going to break out or going to reverse back to the top again. All right, let me show you the next one. Here we got that, yeah. We got that trade, short term. And uh, we were watching price action at this area. Other price is going to break out to the downside are reversing back to the top. Yeah, so we have seen that reversal. Now we are paying attention at that area for this trade. Okay, similar like this previous one. Either we're going to see breakout at this area or reversal back to the top again. We all can see that price is running in the channel. Price is channelized. Ascending channel and highly likely price is going to reverse back to the, to the bottom again. Okay, in case price a, a break out aggressively like that, then you know, leave that trade. Don't look for short on this pair. Let the price come up to that area in this zone. Then we're going to look for bigger trade to the downside. Yeah. So for looking for this short term trade to the upside, gonna be risky. This short term upgrade side, uh, upside trade, gonna be risky, yeah? Gonna be very much risky. Why gonna be very much risky? Because we are having reversal formation. Price can drop at any time. It can just uh, extend the ranges like that and gonna draw back, in, back into that, 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 that channel, All right? So this thing can happen over there. So you're only gonna get a break even trade. This break even trade, or even you know, gonna stop load on, on, on that trade. Yeah, clear impulse. All right, clear impulse. If you want to, to, to try to buy based on the breakout and want to move on to the break, uh, break even quickly, then try that. Yeah, move on break even, but gonna be risky. Yeah, I will not suggest you to look for buy like that. All right, so it is possible that price can. Can keep pushing for the upside but risk is there right why risk is there we are still in that channel this channel reversal channel all right so we are having bigger sideways correction on this pair as well let me bring that shot all right so we were waiting for this 
bigger sideways correction under under that trend line okay so price is testing that area so i think price already got a rejection at the area strong rejection and going to get down and if you fellas are not into this trade try to to watch the top all right try to watch that top all right try to watch that top this trend continuation pattern watch pay attention at this area okay for this trade we are not not looking for big trade to the upside we are looking for trade to the downside yeah this trade so you all fellows need to remember that we are not looking for that trade that continuation continuation trade we are looking for this trade back into that channel this trade right so we are anticipating that price gonna form top here and gonna get down yeah so you fellows can see that strong impulse strong impulse yeah this is corrective uptrend broken down we are looking for this trade price can can stay into this zone for a couple of times so be prepared for that 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 thing yeah pound cat last week we were anticipating bigger sideways correction we are still looking for that sideways correction all right this sideways correction and then this trade all right we have seen some momentum for upside last week which was creating some doubts all right this upside momentum this upside momentum was was creating some doubts that price can test the top again like that all right but we 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 gonna we gonna give this pair more time yeah if usd cat gonna start to fall if usd cat gonna start to fall of course this pair gonna start to fall too yeah so we are anticipating more pressure pressure on pound pairs in the coming days yeah so if you fellows remember that we are having election in the next week on pound pairs Yeah, so this pair, pound pair is going to be volatile. So be careful on, on pound pairs, yeah? Use reasonable risk, no unreasonable risk. So volatility going to be there on these pairs, okay? So use reasonable risk, no unreasonable risk, volatility be there. We are anticipating that this pair is going to get down. Pound pair, pound pair is going to get down, yeah? And if pound pairs not gonna get down, of course we're gonna see the strong upside momentum for continuation. Yeah, we we not gonna you know see some dodgy moves or dodgy waves which gonna create doubts. Yeah, I mean not gonna give, give us clear sign that which way we're gonna go. So we're gonna see clear signs which way we we we're gonna go. Yeah, once this parliament parliamentary election is going to unfold okay so no need to worry about that just use reasonable risk don't don't uh, you know try to make all money only in, in in the next week okay so some of you fellows are just setting up for the big waves based on this news event be careful fellows don't use all your risk only on pound pairs okay so <clears throat> short term upside momentum is possible upside momentum means we are having impulse continuation formation and price broken out but you fellas can see that that pattern turned into another pattern formation okay so price can come up to that area can form this flat channel and can continue okay so we need a bigger sideways correction on this pair on daily time frame I, at least on daily time frame for the downside so let's see how this we are gonna complete the, the, the continuation formation to the downside for the downside okay so we are having this formation okay so let me look at the weekly first what we were looking for we were looking for short from that top all right so short from that top so we are coming close to that trend line all right, and price is just forming a reversal pattern formation, not a continuation formation, yeah? So we have seen that formation many times be before, okay? 
during this wave during this wave during this wave again again we are having this formation the same formation let me show you which formation so it, it seems to me that this pair can get the top again okay so before that we have seen here reversal formation we have seen here reversal formation yeah we have seen on on fora time frame you're gonna see clearly that formation not 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 here on, on this time frame so that formation turned into a continuation formation for the downside but price never continued to the downside yeah so we have seen that formation here all right so you can see reversal reversed reversal was there on four time frame reversed the reversal reversed all right so again we are having a reversal it can reverse back to the top again okay so we're gonna look for this this trade this this trade at least up to that area okay we're, we're gonna see what kind of price section price gonna form at that area so how we're gonna trade as I ask you to, 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 to look at this pair in last meeting pay attention at the bottom so we're gonna pay attention at this this area okay for this breakout we are having this reversal formation we're gonna pay attention close to this trend line for upside euro usd we are getting close to the weekly trend line you haven't seen any big movement last week we we got the the negative news event but that negative news even did not cause loss of movement on, on dollar pairs. Okay, so we are getting close to this area. We are looking for this trade, not upside. Let me look at the lower time frame. Alright, so we were paying attention at this top. Some of the fellows already into this shot. So pay attention at that area. If you're gonna see some price section, look for sell. Look at this trade. Look for sell for this trade. We're gonna see what what we're gonna have at this trend line. Either we're gonna see another up wave or gonna gonna get down, break out to the downside. Okay. So pay attention on lower time frame. If you're gonna have price section, nice price section for the downside. Quite similar like that you can join short at this area here's something like this strong candles on lower time frame like 15 minutes like these candles you can join put your stop loss just somewhere there and look for this trade okay we are at the top and we are still in continuation formation quite similar like euro usd yeah the bigger formation is this we are getting to the down yeah so lots of room is there okay we are looking for your USD to, 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 to get down and this pair to reverse back to that trend line all right so far this pair and your USD your USD is bullish this pair is strong bearish okay so we are anticipating that euro usd gonna form a top and this we are gonna form a form a bottom and gonna reverse back to the trend line if price gonna 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 reverse back to the trend line correctively we're gonna see another wave to the downside if we're gonna see some bullish waves we're gonna start to buy okay if we're gonna see continuation formation we're gonna look for this trade all right Currently, you fellas can see that it is bearish. Like that. Yeah, like that. Alright. So, be careful if you're looking to buy. We are still in continuation trend. Yeah. And also be careful on, on that pair, you know, Euro USD. Okay. We are, we are still in the bullish trend on that pair. So, be careful. Okay. Any question, fellows, on this pair, USD chief, Euro USD?
and dollar index we are still in bearish trend okay so we're gonna pay attention at this area highly likely price gonna reverse not gonna continue to the downside yeah highly likely price gonna reverse back to, to, to that trend line okay like this channel so we're gonna look for this trade so euro usd we are getting close to the top yeah let me go back to that chart again yeah it is not bearish because it is in, in, in still to the to the trend yeah last time we were looking for sell at that area let me show you how you fellows need to look for okay so this was the bigger bigger formation before that we have seen triangle that triangle broken down impulse we have seen bigger trend continuation pattern or flag back to that impulse or ascending channel that was the place impulse impulse risk taking entry we were looking for this breakout all right so we have seen breakdown from that top what we need to look for we need to look for this impulse at that top let me show you here we need to look for that impulse okay impulse coming over there but that impulse is not going to continue violating that top again and again again and again, again and again so that means someone is trying to 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 push that pair to the downside these sellers are getting in your usd okay so next week gonna be crucial on euro pairs why gonna be crucial i think we are having ecb event is coming yeah ecb press conference all right you can see i read the cn yeah ecb press conference is, is coming in the next week all right so once that news event gonna pass we're gonna see the direction on euro pairs we're gonna see the direction either they are going to get 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 i mean going to break that channel to the upside which is less likely all right which is less likely this channel either price is going to break out this channel to the upside this is less likely okay less likely highly likely you're going to see this wave price going to start to fall to the downside all right this is the the, the channel all right so let me make it all right so this breakout is less likely if if we're gonna see the spike spike quite similar like this one despite we have seen previously on this pair this spike then of course we're gonna start to look for as much close as 1.60 or 1.50 okay no gonna look for that trade we're gonna look for this trade why are we gonna look for this trade and let me show you okay so what formation we are having here do you see that what formation we are having let me know is it reversal is there formation is this formation is the reversal formation okay this is trend continuation formation okay what we are having we are having change in pattern formation all right now let me show you how many formations we have seen over there so far after that impulse so that is the impulse what formation is this is this flag <clears throat> what formation is this fellows is this flag Come on this is triangle this is not a flag formation this is triangle formation let me put the trend line this is the trend line price was respecting those ranges this is the lower trend line so what formation do you see triangle formation okay so after that you can see breakout strong impulse all right so what formation we have seen at the previous low at this area Continuation formation for the downside. No, we 
we're not going to count that weeks. We're going to count this price action. So we were having trend reversal formation here at this area. Okay, so at this previous low. Means that we are getting back to the top. Alright, let me show you the trend reversal formation so that you fellas can get the idea. Alright, so which formation is this? Reversal. We have seen this formation, these couple of formations on Australian dollar and CAD pairs. I have just shown you, yeah, this formation. So reversal formation. We are, it, this formation was forming at the previous low. Alright, so means that we are going to get back. We are going to reverse to the top. Now let me look at the... weekly all right so this was the reversal pattern formation price holding that bottom we have drawn that trend line all right like this and we have extended that trend line like that okay so we have seen Price reverse from that area, reverse that at the area, form that flag or that ascending channel back to that impulse. Okay, so impulse, flag, and other impulse. Okay, trend continuation pattern formation like A, B, and C. All right, or one, two, three, whatever you want to call that. So formed another flag, broken down. Okay, so which is which is the strongest place in this trend continuation pattern formation to, to pay more attention? Which is the strongest place in this trend continuation pattern to pay attention? Which is the strongest? Yeah, this is the strongest place. That is the place which is very much strong to pay attention. Now, let me show you another example. So that, okay, so we are testing this area again, 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 and again. Okay, this area, this area, this area. Okay, we are testing that area again. Right, so highly likely price gonna get rejection. So these areas, the this area is very much interested. Yeah, we pay we, we look for the pattern, we don't look for the weeks. Right, so we we, we we we're gonna pay attention at the at the pattern. Okay, so pattern gonna be something like that as well. But this is the this is the place we're gonna pay attention. So let's see how price can develop at this area. We're gonna see the the, the the reversal from that that top to downside. Let's let's look at the monthly first. All right, so this is the trend continuation pattern formation, not a trend reversal formation. Where we have seen that formation, we have seen that formation on USDN on daily time frame. All right, here at this area. Okay, so broken down. Yeah, we haven't finished that pair yet. We're going to do that pair again. Let's move on. Okay, so we're going to pay attention on this pair and that area. We're going to look for this trade. We'll see how this pair is going to unfold next week. Yeah. So people try to push their this pair for, for short term upside based on that news event for short term, right? So be prepared for that. I mean to say, we may see spike because of that news event for the upside. Okay, but upside gonna be limited. No gonna reverse the bearish strong trend which we have on our left side. Yeah, so we're gonna pay attention at this this place for reversal. For reversal, this this place for this trade. All the way up to the top. Euro chief, Euro chief is forming a very nice flag, and this flag can break out based on the news event. Okay, so this short term trade gonna be over there for next week. This short term trade, not a big trade. You can see over there flag. This flag. Yeah, so how are you going to look for trade? Don't get into the market early. I mean, when when market open, don't get into the market. Straight away when it opens, watch for price section at that area. This is the trade. 
all right so it can extend up to that 27 as well that 27 yeah so this is the trade we're gonna look for next week up to that that 27 area so currently we can see it is look like looks like bearish to downside all right looks like bearish to the down, downside Pay attention at your 50% interest now at this area. Okay, if you're gonna see price is going to stop at that area, look for that trade. Okay, so the way I have shown you similar like that. Let me tell you this flag. Alright, so you have seen impulse, flag, and the breakout. Another trend continuation pattern, another breakout. All right, so we are having another trend continuation pattern. Okay, so that is the trade we are looking for on this pair. New Zealand CAD is not ready. UK oil. I think UK oil is 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 going to finish the the move. The move was. We were looking for at that area. This area. Yeah, so continuation formation and we have seen that wave. So we're gonna look for a reversal from that area. Okay, so this time reversal gonna be hard, strong, gonna be strong to the upside. Alright, people are gonna start to buy this pair. Oil gonna gonna get expensive next coming coming days. Yeah, so we're gonna pay attention at this previous low. How price can develop at this area for that trade? Let me, yeah, let me show you this trade. Okay, so you can see we still have some room. We still have some room. Price forming reversal formation. You can see over there, yeah. So, gonna be corrective to the downside. And then we're gonna look for breakout to the upside. Currently, we just need to wait on oil, how oil gonna 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 unfold at this bottom. And then we're gonna look for what? Any fellows? Anyone remember that? What we're gonna look for in this area? Yeah, we're gonna look for this kind of price action. Alright. We have seen that kind of price action here. We're gonna look for this kind of price action at that area. If we're gonna see that kind of price action, we are going to buy to the upside. Let me bring back that previous idea again to, to the screen so that you can get the idea. Okay, so that was the way we were looking for from this bottom. That is the impulse which we were we have seen at that area. If we're not, we're not gonna see this impulse, we are not interested to buy the oil. Okay, we're not gonna buy oil. If we're not, not gonna see this impulse, we're not, we're not gonna buy oil. Let the oil fall up to which level oil gonna go. And once we're gonna see the impulse, then we're gonna start to buy oil. Currently, we don't see any impulse. We only can, we only can see the, the continuation formations. All right, so it can keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing to the downside by forming this trend continuation pattern formation. Okay, so not interested to, to, to sell for small moves. I'm going to look for a big move to the upside. Yeah, so pay attention on this pair. This pair is going to be crucial next week. We are anticipating New Zealand dollar going to fall and this pair is going to rise. Let me show you the chart first where we are having at the moment we are not clear not clear yeah all right so we are coming close to this area all right this area so we have seen reversal here we're gonna look for this trade let me show you the price behavior on lower time frame is it impulsive I lose is this strong impulsive 
is this strong impulsive no it is not strong impulsive it is corrective yeah corrective in its nurture and highly likely we're going to see this kind of breakout which kind of breakout let me know about this by looking at this area in this circle what kind of breakout we're going to see over here over there this kind of breakout perfect nice one this kind of breakout all right okay so what we have we have before that breakout what we were there what we have seen over there before that breakout what was there the reversal formation okay that was the reversal formation let me show you that reversal formation let me show you a lower time frame then you fellas can understand that much better okay we had this formation let's draw it like that so gonna be ending diagonal falling wedge whatever you want to give this formation okay so we all can see that this is re this is reversal formation and what formation we are having here we are having same formation quite similar like that okay so one thing is confirmed and that is this is corrective corrective fall yeah corrective wave so highly likely we're going to see this this kind of scenario over there impulse if we're going to see that impulse we're going to start to buy okay so read that impulse on, on, on your lower time frame before it comes okay so try to to pick that on lower time frame let me look at the lower time frame so that you can understand how you need to look for yeah here is your impulse which is coming and i think you can read that impulse on your lower time frame somewhere here yeah so so keep eye on your 15 minute time frame. Try to get into somewhere here once you're going to see that impulse. Yeah. So reversal on Australian dollar cat. Reversal on Australian New Zealand dollar. All right. And on Australian USD, sideways bigger correction means that Australian dollars may get strong over there. And New Zealand dollar is already strong. We'll see that either it is impulsive or corrective. It's corrective, we are going to get down another move. If impulsive, we are going to get back to this top. Alright, so that is the Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar. Euro New Zealand dollar, we're going to pay attention at this area. Okay, that area. If price is not going to break down, this is the trade we're going to look for. Okay, if breakdown, we're going to watch another continuation formation under that. Okay, so I think you fellas remember that the previous one. We were watching for, for this area as a top. We, can, we have seen that price stop that area, started to fall. We have seen trend continuation pattern formation and breakdown. We have seen another continuation formation, but that continuation formation wasn't completed, broken, broken down early. Okay, so we have seen breakout. Let's move on to the to the recent chart. Lower time frame. All right, so we're going to talk about that later on. Okay, so we're going to pay attention at this area. So far, you fellas can see that it is channelized. All right, channelize. If New Zealand dollar are gonna start to fall, this up wave highly likely gonna possible over there, yeah. All right, so one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we we gonna pay attention at this area. Either price is going to break down or going to to, to continue. Some of you fellows share their chart into the group. And uh, you did an excellent job. There wasn't a buy setup. Some people, some traders were looking to buy impulse and continuation and then looking for this trade. There wasn't a buy trade and a buy setup because price has lost momentum at that area. Okay. So only my traders know what, what is mean by loss of momentum. So many traders don't know about the loss of momentum and they look for, for buy setup. 
So loss of momentum can tell you either price is going to continue or not. Okay, so loss of, loss of momentum was saying that we are not going to continue to the upside. We are going to continue to the downside. Okay, so that is the place where we need to, 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 to pay attention for upside or, or for the downside. So currently nothing is there. No buy setup, no sell setup. So short term sell setup was there based on the loss of momentum. And some of you fellows shared their chart. And I hope you took that short term sell setup based on that, that, that trend continuation pattern formation which, were, which we were looking for. Okay. <clears throat> so those so those who are holding pay attention at this area all right so we're gonna see how this pair is gonna develop so euro looks like aggressive to the upside in next week we'll see how euro gonna dwell USDN what we were anticipating fellows we were anticipating this back information all right so some of you fellows were anticipating this formation this formation you can see price never made up to that 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 air that so that place and some some traders even looking for that up wave <laughs> haven't got the idea what is this this is correction sideways move all right so there are only three direction of the market either price gonna stay into trending to the upside either price gonna stay into trending to the sideways Sorry, trending to the downside or sideways. Okay, three price behavior. So we can see impulse, and this was the sideways price behavior, sideways move. Yeah. So side when whenever we will see sideways movement, we're gonna see trend continuation pattern. Yeah, it is tri triangle. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna pay attention. So this pair can change lots of pattern formation on lower time frame. Keep in your mind, okay. Lots of pattern formation on lower time frame. Why lots of pattern formation on lower time frame? Because we are having daily sideways correction, daily trend continuation pattern formation. All right, this daily trend continuation pattern formation. You can see over there this daily trend continuation pattern formation. Still, we are in, in, in sideways move or in trend continuation pattern formation. But that trend continuation pattern formation is bigger on daily time frame. And on lower time frame, we have seen this flag broken down. We are having triangle formation. We, we were anticipating flat formation, flat at this area, and then and then and, and then reversal from that area. We have seen breakout before reaching to that point means that we are having triangle now. This formation. Now we're going to pay attention close to that trend line. First of all, we're going to pay attention at this bottom. How price is going to, going to, going to unfold at this area, at this area, at this previous low. Either going to form a continuation formation and going to continue to the downside or going to form, a, form an impulse at the, that area or go, and going to get back to that top. Okay, so... We are in still this daily sideways trend continuation pattern formation. So some of you fellows were frustrating why this still is not going to continue to the downside. Be patient. Be patient. We are in daily sideways trend continuation formation. Okay. Let me bring back that chart. The, the first one. All right. So we are looking for this trade at least up to this area. All right, so here you can see it is forming daily trend continuation pattern formation quite similar like this Okay, like this formation triangle formation All right, so like that triangle triangular formation Here that area, okay, so we are anticipating that trade trade setup after that so we'll see that how this we're gonna dwell some some fellows managed to, to sell once price was breaking that corrective uptrend and some of you fellows wasn't because of the yeah you, you managed to sell good luck good job because the, the 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 fall was so strong so aggressive to the downside let me look at the one minute chart even wasn't giving enough time to the you can see over there yeah so fall was so 
aggressive, so sure, wasn't giving enough time to, 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 to the fellows to think about the short. Okay, don't worry. We're going to see price second here and here, what we're going to see. Cadian, Cadian is not a, not a big trade over there. I mean, not a big, big trade setup over there. Why not a big trade over, oh, big trade setup is over there? Because we are having a daily sideways correction. So we'll see that how this daily sideways correction will unfold. And quite, quite similar like here as well. So those who, who are into this trade, try to take up their, their, their profit at this area, okay? And let the market complete the formation. The formation, it is going to form on, form on bigger daily time frame. Yeah, so some of you fellas sold here. So try to take up your profit at this area. Some of you fellas sold here. Take off at this area. All right. And let the, the, the correction unfold. How this correction is going to unfold. This bigger daily sideways correction. A trend continuation pattern. Okay, we're going to give more time to this pair. And quite similar like here. Okay, daily sideways correction is forming. We are paying attention at that top. And this pair is quite similar like USD and fellows, all right? Okay, so some of you fellows holding their trade. Some of you are not. We're going to pay attention at this area. If I test that, that, that top. Yeah, so currently not interested. It is price has broken down. It is not ready to short anymore at this time. Okay, so in case price test that top again, then we're gonna look for for, for, for for short. Those who are holding their trade at this area or at this area, look for continuation. Okay, here we got the gold. We gonna see reversal very soon, fellas, on gold. So don't miss this this pair. Looks like couple of formation changing couple of formations on gold. All right, so we are having a nice trend reversal pattern formation left shoulder head. And, and and another another other shoulder yeah right shoulder so price can reverse at any time currently it is bullish we were anticipating upside move in last meeting yeah at this area if you fellows remember that yeah this way we were anticipating this up way we were anticipating yeah so keep eye on this pair at this area we're gonna see soon reversal to the downside we are having Trend reversal pattern formation like, like you know, head and shoulder. Okay, so similar here. We're gonna look for this trade. Okay, currently it is not ready. We have to give more time to these two pairs. Not ready. We're gonna pay. We're gonna give more time. So pound chief. Yeah, it is not ready to do anything at the moment. Going to continue. So some of you fellows took that trade. Let me show you the trade we were talking about last week. That trade. That trade, yeah. And some of you fellows not, you know, didn't took that trade. That's okay. That's all right. Quite similar like that, yeah. All right. We're going to see further signs on this pair. And similar like Euro Pound. Okay, some of you fellows managed to take that trade, short term trade to the upside. That short term trade here from this area. That flag, come on. That trade. All right. So <clears throat> when we look at the bigger structure, like daily, we are having reversal formation, but we need to pay. We need to give more time price uh, to, to, to the price at this area. Okay, so it is not, uh, you know, doesn't look like we are going to, to, to continue. 
it doesn't look like we are going to continue highly likely we're going to see a reversal but price is setting up for that it is not ready for that setting up for that not ready for that you can see over there we haven't seen anything here anything here we only have seen this area and here we have seen some price action okay so price action is building over there we'll see that how price could unfold at this area okay at that that under that trend line cat chief is not ready to do anything your cat is not do is not ready to do anything sugar is just falling aggressively it is not stopping <laughs> if you fellows remember that uh, where we were following sugar it is not stopping yeah so let me show you where we were tracking that that pair sugar was forming perfect nice straight setup yeah so sweet let me open the website yeah so i think i posted on website on this website uh, here Yeah, it seems to me that here trade setup explained on, on sugar. I posted on the website. Yeah, so we started to track sugar from this area. You can see flag, 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 broken down. Yeah, so I'm going to continue yeah impulse another flag broken down yeah another bigger flag and broken down yeah another bigger flag was forming over there i think after that i think broken down this flag as well let me go back to to the yeah so we only followed that pair up to that area up to that area yeah we started to sell this pair I think yeah, we only followed a couple of trade setup I think two trade setup on, on, on sugar <clears throat> and uh, we, we we never tracked after that on one hour time frame we were tracking on this pair yeah so we started to track this pair from this area yeah here is the setup you can see flag, flag, another flag, another flag. And what we will do on this pair again, we we gonna look for another flag, fellas. Another bigger flag. And gonna look for another trade setup on this pair like that. Okay. So it is not ready to do anything at the moment. I think we are at the coming close to the bottom somewhere here. Yeah, somewhere here. We're coming close to that area. So we still have room. Okay, so we're going to look for another shot set up on the sugar. So that is what 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 my my point, fellows. You just need to figure out these patterns, these trend continuation patterns, okay? Regardless of the numbers, 1 2 3 4 5 or whatever. You just need to figure out these trend continuation patterns if you know these trend continuation pattern you know what is your trade this is your trade okay this is your trade 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 okay so sometimes you will see the flag sometimes you will see the flag sometimes you will see the zigzag flag or sometimes you will see the flat channel and sometimes you will see the triangle or flat channel yeah all right so trend continuation patterns gonna be triangle flag flat channel like that you need to figure it out what pattern it is forming it is forming flat then there you need to look for cell and if it is forming flag where you need to look for cell and if it is forming triangle where you need to look for cell okay so as long as price you know is is is, is you know 
moving, you will see the patterns going to keep developing, 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 right? Like I have shown you on Euro USD. Before that, we have seen triangle, that triangle broken down, price formed a flag, that flag broken down, now price is forming flat channel. All right. So this is how pattern keep changing, keep changing, keep changing. Yes, sometimes pattern just extend the ranges but still remain in the continuation formation or in the reversal formation. We need to figure it out. Where price going to go after this formation? Okay, so figure it out. What formation is this? Any question, fellows? If there is no question, we're going to stop here. Thank you very much for being with me, fellows.